Uh, on behalf of the County of Santa Clara, I first want to express my enormous gratitude to our community, to everyone who lives in our community, and to everything that everyone has done collectively together to keep all of us safe. Today marks two years since Bay Area health officials announced stay at home orders because of the coronavirus pandemic. It was in direct response to widespread infections and hospitalizations. KTVU investigative reporter Brooks DeRose joins us now with a look back and a look forward as well as the virus and strategies to keep us all healthy have changed. Brooks. Well, Christina, doctors admit they initially weren't prepared. They didn't know much about COVID-19 or how it spreads. The science has since evolved. More research has been done and the virus has changed too. But now health officials say we have more tools to fight back and prevent another major surge. It has been a rough ride. Waves of the coronavirus beginning two years ago. First, a cruise ship of COVID cases. We need to act now, all of us to protect the public health. Then six Bay Area counties announced a regional lockdown, the first in the nation. These measures will be disruptive to day-to-day -day life, but there is no need to panic. Still, pandemic panic set in, seen at stores, toilet tissue and paper products in short supply, sanitizer and disinfectant hard to come by. Not the case now. I think one of the things we didn't need to do that people were doing was wiping down everything and all this concern about, you know, is it infection from contact, you know, versus knowing it's in the air. State epidemiologist Dr. Erica Pond says lots has been learned, especially exposed were gaps in public health and care for the most vulnerable. This pandemic really magnified the differences and disparities um, and really impacted people who didn't have choices, you know, people who had to work and couldn't stay home. The essential workers in the fields, hospitals, nursing homes, and grocery stores. As for everyone else, you must stay home. Quarantine time stretched from weeks to months. I became a shut in, uh, too much time inside. All education went online, businesses, even restaurants closed. Well, that was a little scary. And working from home became the norm. I am so zoomed out. Streets were empty. Traffic was a breeze. Very quiet compared to how it usually is. It's like a movie. Yeah. It's like something out of a movie. It's like a ghost town. Because COVID cases, hospitalizations, and deaths were on the rise. I never want anyone to go through what I went through. In April 2020, Mark Wallace was on a ventilator for weeks and won his battle with the virus. It was a terrible, horrible process. I totally totally believe everybody ought to be vaccinated. Today, doctors say vaccines have saved countless lives, the number one protection against serious illness or death. As this virus is not going away, we're just going to see different versions of it, and vaccinations are absolutely protective and safe. That's providing some tourists new confidence, along with dwindling cases from the post-holidays Omicron surge. I feel like I can get out, I can visit places, and it's about time. With expanded testing and readily available COVID treatments, gone are the days of empty booths and takeout dinners. We're starting to crawl back. We're obviously not quite there yet, but it is going in the right direction. After shuttering for 55 weeks, Tadich Grill is one of many back in business. Beautiful. Thank you. Every time they come in, they're like, Kurt, we're so happy that you're open. And I respond, I'm so happy you're coming back. Big changes with mask rules loosened, sports in full swing, and live performances booking up. San Francisco is coming back. I couldn't be happier to know that I get to meet and interact with new people and see their smiles and it's just good to be back. <laughs> back to traveling again and back to the office. Now 154.50. Even back to shopping in an actual store. It's been a really hard two years for everybody and even for myself as I've started to allow myself or my family to do certain things. It's a little nerve wracking, but I do think we've learned a lot and we know a lot of these tools absolutely protect us and it's always kind of that balance. Living life while knowing the virus may forever be living among us. Feels good to be back. Well, Dr. Pond says there will be future variants of the virus, but she says relying on vaccines, masks and tests should prevent public health officials from having to reinstitute those restrictive stay at home orders.
Christina? It does feel good to be back. And knowing what we know now, do health officials think that the lockdown was the right move? Well, they would tell you yes, because there were so many unknowns and there was worry of hospitals overflowing with COVID patients. But what health officials say they weren't expecting is to become targets of death threats. Dr. Pond told me she's had several colleagues who still have security details 24-7 and it's not something they ever expected. Wow, yeah, we didn't expect yeah. that either in terms of reporting everything we did over the past two years. Brooks, thank you.